Hey, good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 44 to 50 now. Let's read the verses. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? Then he said to the woman, Go, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So remember, this is the case we were started with the other morning. There's a feast, Jesus is invited, and there's a sinful woman, and the man sees her, him there with that woman, and he says, if this guy was really a prophet, he wouldn't be allowing her to touch him. And Jesus says, hey, I've got something to say to you. And he gives that example of, you know, uh, one is forgiven for a small amount, one's forgiven for a large amount, which one will love him more? And he said, well, the one that was forgiven the most. And he said, you've rightly judged. Then we carry on with this that we've read right here. So now Jesus gives this concrete case and applies it for Simon and for this woman. She has sinned much, and she is uh, very, very grateful to have been forgiven much. And he gives the examples. She's done this for me. You haven't done any of this for me. She's done this for me. You haven't done any of this for me. She's doing this. You, you haven't made any indication like that at all. So he's pointing out, Jesus is pointing out to Simon, you know, you really haven't... <laughs> You really haven't demonstrated uh, any kind of appreciation for forgiveness, and yet uh, here you are judging me and judging her. You know, you, you, you think on this. And so that's what we have here is this case of this woman who is, is uh, very much uh, thankful for Jesus to forgive her. How thankful are you and I for the forgiveness that God has for us? Are we really thankful? Do we really uh, pause to think, you know, that without Jesus, we're lost, we're utterly undone? Are we thankful for that? Or do we just say, oh yeah, he's forgiving me, gonna have a wonderful day. What are we going to, you know, how deeply do we love, how deeply do we feel an appreciation for this? And so that's, that's a pretty good question here. So he says, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. She loved much. Look at the reaction of the people. Who, who is he that he's forgiving sins all over the place? Well, I'll tell you who he is. He's Jesus. He's the creator. He's the, the God, the agent of creation that God the Father set. And he said, Jesus, you do the creating. And Jesus himself, of course, is also divine. He is also God. This is Jesus who is going to die on the cross for us to give his, his life in place of your life and my life. We guilty ones. He, the innocent one. That's who this is. And yes, he can forgive sins. And yes, he can bring transformation to people. But these people are so busy judging other people, looking at others and kind of looking down their nose at them. Those people are in sort of some trouble. And you and I gotta be careful that we are not in that mode. God does not call you to look down your nose and judge others. God wants you to be right with him and let him change you and transform you and forgive you. Your transgressions, let's keep the focus on our transgressions. Jesus will work with other people on their transgressions. What about yours and mine? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we ourselves are greatly in need of your forgiveness. We are the ones that are in need of salvation. We have not been appointed to judge every which person. So Lord, may our hearts be right. May we receive, receive with deep appreciation your gift of forgiveness. And let's keep it in that way, Lord. Hey, thank you for this lesson from Jesus of this woman who was demonstrating her great affection and thankfulness. And yet many times we do very little to demonstrate how thankful we are for your great mercies toward us. Bless us and help us, Lord. We're asking for these things in Jesus' name, amen. So friend, may the Lord uh, put his blessing on you and I, first of all, by giving us a godly sorrow, receiving our forgiving us and receiving our deep repentance and transforming us and that will be a beautiful and important thing for us god bless you today